I'm going to Japan. I'm going to Japan. Yeah. I am so freaking excited because my friend is going with me this time. My bestest friend in the whole wide world. And I can't wait to share this experience with her. I want her to go out and have fun and see a different country, experience a different culture and food. Nom, 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 nom. But in all seriousness, guys, I am super excited. If you can see behind me right here, this is stuff I bought off of Wish. I thought it was so awesome. It's sticker decal things that you put on your walls and I use them as a sort of calendar for the week. I had an extra one and there we go. And I decided to use that one as my goals board and one of the goals right there is Japan 2018. Yeah. It's the only one with a date too. I just realized that. So last year when I was super excited that I was going. I had a wonderful experience, saw everything that I had seen on TV and really wanted to see in person. There obviously are parts of Japan that I wasn't able to go to because I was going for such a short time. And again, I am going for a short time this time as well, but I don't care because I'm going. It's just that I'm just that excited. I am going with my friend and we're going to stay in Shinjuku again. Uh, if you don't know where that is, it is in Tokyo. And I found out last year after researching the area once I came back home that it's a pretty popular place to go to. I had no idea. I just thought Shibuya, like the Shibuya area was where everybody was going and that was the popular destination. but. Turns out that Shinjuku has the biggest station. Well, I don't know if it's the biggest, but it has a big station and a lot of trains meet up there and you can connect from there to go other places. It's like the hub of all trains for that area. I don't know. I could be making this up. But anyway, yeah, Shinjuku is pretty popular and I had no idea. So I really wanted my friend to experience Shinjuku the same way I did and I felt like it was a pretty centralized area to stay and you know take the train from there to go to different parts of Tokyo and I was so happy when she told me that she'd be willing to go with me I thought she was kidding because I just didn't I'm sorry I love you girl but I really didn't think you were that type like to just spontaneously go to Japan just like like that. I do work. I do have a restaurant, a family-owned restaurant, but I don't I don't get a huge check. I don't even get a lot of money out of, you know, the restaurant for me or my mom or my brother. Everything mostly goes towards employees and maintenance and rent and bills and all the important stuff. And then we're left with whatever's left over. And I've managed to save up for, you know, my ticket. I was able to save up some money and I paid for my ticket to Japan. And yeah. So what I'm trying to get at here is I'm not rich girls and boys. I am not rich. And I was able to make this happen. So if I'm able to go back to Japan in within a year, is that a year? Yeah, within a year, you totally can do anything. You can make anything happen, okay? That's just what I'm trying to get at. I know a lot of people out there that have been following me probably think that it's impossible to save to go over there, but you might be surprised. You can go out there on a budget. You just have to know where to go. And the beautiful thing, uh, the amazing thing of YouTube is that there are people that live in Japan that are from the US or Canada and they do videos on like the changes like the culture shock and all the things you need to know as a Westerner that's traveling abroad uh, learn the things that you might need to know once you go there so it's pretty awesome if you have an idea of where you want to go definitely look up vlogs of people that are living in those specific areas or countries that you want to go visit and just try to educate yourself with like little things, little tips here and there that you'll need that'll kind of get you a little, a 
little knowledge of the area, I guess, because once you go to someone else's country and they see that you're actually trying to speak their language or like fit in, they'll actually take you in under their wings and help you. Like they'll be more appreciative of you. They'll be like, oh, this person respects my home and just wants to truly come and visit and do no harm and just see the beauties that my country has to offer. So that was pretty deep, I must admit, but it's the truth. So I've been binge watching for years now a lot of YouTubers that live out in Japan that have gone like on, on like jobs abroad and honestly if I would have known that this was something I could do when I was in high school or like graduating high school I would have totally done that a long time ago but now I'm married and <laughs> no regrets guys no regrets but it's harder now as a married woman because the husband wants to do one thing and then I want to do another thing. So we got to compromise and meet in the middle. So our compromise is, he stays here, I get to travel to Japan when I want and he joins me whenever he feels like it. I think it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good compromise, don't you think? Hmm. I definitely have made it a goal to go to Mount Fuji during this stay. I've looked up information like where to go buy my ticket, what it looks like. I'm more of a visual person so when I'm able to see through Google Maps where everything is, what it looks like, I can go based off of the landmarks in the area. I'm good. I even take notes. I'm taking my very infamous notebook that I carried with me last year and I have inputted all my notes and I feel super ready for Japan. I am nine days away as of this video, okay? Nine days away and I couldn't be happier. I did put out a poll on my Instagram stories of which backpack people thought I should take because I was kind of like, ugh these hairs my goodness I was torn I was torn because I wasn't sure which backpack to take my first option was this super cute owl backpack from Betsy Johnson it is so soft right here you have no idea I had no idea that Betsy Johnson had put out an owl backpack if I would have I would have totally bought it a long time ago but my grandma she knows me so well and she bought this for me for my birthday. This holographic blue unicorn mermaid. I feel like it's more like an ocean color. Sorry, it's washing me out, but whatever. Um, it's from a store called Five Below. It's a really nice sized backpack. I just felt like I wasn't sure which one to take because I had a, a messenger bag last time and that really, you know, that was uncomfortable. I like the owl because it's cute and it's so Japan, but at the same time I kind of like this one because of the room and I know that I'm going to be buying stuff and it's plenty of room to put my bags, whatever I purchase, in here. So that's why I was kind of torn. But a lot of people have voted for my owl backpack in my Instagram story, so I think I'm going to go with my owl backpack. If not... Don't be mad at me, it's just like, last minute, I need to decide. This is more, like, I could fit more stuff in here, pretty much. As opposed to the owl, which is just for like, looks. So I don't know, I don't know guys, I'm really torn. I bought this portable charger um, from Amazon, and I've been testing it ever since I got it. It does charge my battery pretty fast, and I want to say that it's pretty good for charging your phone maybe twice because my husband charges his two on it. So I haven't really been able to do a thorough observation on it. But what I've been able to gather from this is I've been able to charge my phone at least twice in the day with it. So it's a good backup battery charger to have. Um, got it off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. These earphones. I am not uh, the type that can use the hard ones that go in your ear. Like the ones that come with your phone. I just can't. They hurt my earlobes so bad. 
they're just too big, I guess. I don't know. But these that you just put in with the silicone right there, those stay in perfectly. And I just loved it because this is like a rose gold and it's star shaped. It's too cute. The other thing I got, I'm going to get this time a Pasmo card. And I really wanted to get it last time because I had seen that it was pretty pretty convenient to have it and it's basically a pass for the trains and the bus and you can also use it in some restaurants and uh, vending machines but I mostly wanted it for the train because I hated having to go to the ticket machine each time trying to figure out which one was for the train that I needed so to solve that problem I decided I wanted the Passmo and I just needed a badge to hold it because it so easy so I got this from Amazon as well and I'll link it to you as well so if you're in the market for one of these you know where to go so this is like a dual cable kind of thing you put your headphones here and then it's to charge your phone really really useful if you're like running out of battery but you want to listen to your phone like our phones the iPhone 7 the jack is just weird. I have to put like some kind of attachment to it. It sucks. It's so inconvenient, but whatever. You do what you gotta do with what you got. So I just got this to kind of like multitask, I guess. The other thing um, that I got off of Wish is this pouch thing. It's really weird looking, but I saw the images on the website and what it is, it holds all your toiletries in this one compartment. I thought it was small actually, to be honest with you guys. I really thought it was small. And what you do is you pull on the string here. And then you just close it like so. And see, it turns small, but it's actually big. So it holds all your toiletries like that. And once you like take everything out or you wanna take everything out of your suitcase, just take it out like that and just stretch it out and everything is gonna be in this pocket very cool I find it very convenient I wanted something cute for my passport and to use also as a wallet out there and I looked up on Amazon and found this really cute pattern one looks like watercolored flowers um, all these little baby hairs are really getting on my nerves they're everywhere It's basically good for fitting your passport. Here's mine. And you know, if you got cash, put your cash in here. I used it also for my credit cards that I'm gonna use and my ID. Just any other pieces of information that you need, like you need to keep together. I felt like this was easy also to carry. So if you have your suitcase and you gotta, you know, pass through security and stuff, you have it easy, easily accessible by having it in your hands like this so yeah, it's easy to go around with it I'm gonna make another video the day I start packing so you guys can sort of see the stuff that I will be using to take out there and uh, if you have any questions you can totally ask me right now I'm willing to answer them the best I can and let me know what you think about this hair color I personally feel like it's a really cute color on me like no joke very very cute I feel like I look like a different person very weird to see myself like this but I just wanted to make an official video saying that I was going because I have been posting stuff on Instagram and I know a lot of people don't follow me there or might not want to it's okay I don't know why you don't but it's all right no hard feelings <laughs> I did just want to share the bit of good news I'm super excited I wish I could take all of you with me I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing some videos of me and my friend out there on our journey. Just super excited for this trip because now my friend gets to see everything I've seen and I've also looked up places that I wasn't able to go to before and I want to experience those with her as well. I am so happy and thankful that she's able to go with me. I really wanted my mom to go too but she didn't want to and she's going to regret it. Anyway guys, thank you so much again for stopping by. I really hope you enjoy the video and I will see you in my next one.